Oh, there you are, YouTube. Do, 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 do. Subscribe if you're interested, but also no pressure. Hey, let's do a random ranking. Let's go to my movie collection beside me and pick out three Disney movies. Disney movies because I have an upcoming Disney project, multi-day project that um, I, or multi-day videos, I don't know. Project, I'll, I'll call it a project. Coming out, hoping to drop it on Monday. And this is preparation for that. Just kind of get the, the Disney mood going through Disney-themed random rankings. Uh, but yeah, basically we're going to pick three Disney movies from my collection and then rank those movies from most favorite to least favorite. I'll rank them here in the video, and if you'd like to rank them in the comments below, please feel free to do so. But let's get to picking some Disney movies. Got them right beside me here in this Disney collection. And these are mostly my Blu-rays and DVDs. I don't have my VHS tapes here, but I do have doubles of those. I have, um, I think, upgraded maybe every single one of those. So, uh, yeah, this is the newer version. A lot of them unopened, actually. Let's see what we got. One, two, three. Okay. <clears throat> um, all right. This is going to be interesting. So, first we have Wally. Did I do that right? Wally. -E. Um, and this is a great movie. This, I, I feel like this is actually something that um, Pixar does really well. Um, well, I guess, I don't know if, should I say really well? Okay, I really like this movie. I like it a lot. But, this is what I was trying to say. When you kind of get to the end, when it turns into like an action movie or whatever, I kind of lose interest a lot, uh, quite a bit. Um, like the movie Up kind of does the same thing. When we start having the dog fights and everything, and also the dogs, um, it just, I, I lose a little bit of interest. And this sort of happens with this one a little bit as well when things start turning into an action movie. But everything at the beginning, the love story with Eve and in Wally <clears throat> is, is fantastic. And I remember at the time, the, uh, the animation, was just like top notch. Uh, Fred Willard is in it. I think that was the first time we saw live action incorporated into one of these Pixar movies. Um, but yeah, I just, I thought this was really good. I think it um, had the Oscars opened up the field to, you know, up to 10 nominees. I think this would have been nominated. Uh, I think it would have been a deserved nomination, even though towards the end, I, I lose a little bit of interest during that action scene when things kind of get a little hectic. But otherwise, I mean, fantastic movie. Really like this. For a while, I did have it um, atop my... I'm wondering if it still is. Probably not. Atop my Pixar list minus Toy Story films um, because those are in a league of their own. Um, but yeah, I, I really like Wally. Let's follow that with uh, The Jungle Book. So, um, I mean, this was one that I had on VHS growing up. I remember singing with the elephants in a military style. I remember singing with King Louis. I remember singing with Baloo. I mean, this is a, it's a fun musical. I believe this one also came out during the Xerox era, which is uh, when the Disney company, rather than drawing out on hand drawing the animation cells they would do xerox copies uh on the uh, on the animation cells and then fill them in with paint because it kind of has a scratchy look and i'm pretty sure that was done quite a bit in the where, where are we at here the 60s probably when this came out um and i think it was you know the 60s and 70s when that happened this might have been the 70s though i can't remember um, I wasn't alive during that time, but I have seen those years attached to these movies. I don't know. I'm not seeing it on here. But anyway, <clears throat> um, yeah, it's, I, I grew up with this one on VHS and I, I think it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, it's below, in my opinion, the, a lot of the, the Disney Renaissance films or all of the Disney, Disney Renaissance films, depending on what you consider the Renaissance. Um, uh, but uh, one I, I very much like. Next we have two movies here, and both of these are considered uh, D Disney feature animation. The sequel is, so The Rescuers Down Under. A lot of times uh, they made like straight to VHS sequels, and I think DVD got to that point. But this one here is considered a full-fledged 
Disney animated feature made by the uh, Walt Disney Animation. So it's like legit, right? It's a legit one. But because we have not ranked the original Rescuers, that's what we're going to go with, not Rescuers Down Under. Interestingly, though, Rescuers Down Under is in the Disney Renaissance because it was made after The Little Mermaid. But it was a box office flop, so it gets forgotten. Um, it's very much forgotten and not thought of as a part of the Disney Renaissance. But it's a very important movie because it's the very first feature length digital movie ever made in Hollywood or you know for for feature length animated movie digital animated movie ever made so even though it was a, a failure in a lot of ways what it did for animation and just cinema in general is pretty monumental because that's like all we have now right and this was the first for um, animated movies Maybe all movies. I can't remember the the fact. Maybe it's all movies. Or maybe it was just animated. Maybe it was all movies. I don't know. But we're ranking the original. Which I'm not as into. I get kind of bored actually when I watch it. Um, so, I mean, honestly, these are being ranked in the order I pulled them. So, I'm going to go Wally -E number one. Am I? I don't know, I just got hit with a wave of childhood memories. Is that what I'm gonna do? Shere Khan is, he's got, I love his voice. I can't remember the actor that voiced him, but he's, he's great. Okay, the live action version was not very good. I didn't see Andy Serkis's live action version that was on Netflix of The Jungle Book, but Favreau's, you know, I watched it and then you just kind of forget about it. Um, I think I'm going to go Jungle Book just because of the end of Wally -E a little bit bores me. The action, like, like, here's the thing. Wally -E felt like art. The beginning of it felt like art. And I was, I saw it in the morning when it first came out, a room full of kids. They were all quiet. They were all quiet glued to this movie. And I was just very impressed because it did feel like an art film in in some ways. Like like you're watching this uh, artfully made animated short at the beginning. But then it just kind of turns into a movie. You know, just like a, oh, we got action. Oh, things are weird here. And then it was just kind of like, ah, okay, now it's just a movie. But that artistic quality that it has at the beginning, that sort of meditative quietness uh, where we're just watching Wally go about his day is fantastic. So, I think I think I'm actually going to put Jungle Book at number one. I like it all the way through. Um, I just have a lot of great memories with it. So yeah, we're going to say Jungle Book number one, then Wally. Did I do that right? And then the Rescuers, the original Rescuers. So that um is my ranking my question to you is have you seen these movies and if so what do you think of them and if you've seen all three how would you rank them i'd love to know let me know in the comments below and perhaps i'll see you tomorrow for more pure hangout